it's very scary to realize how few people really understand ecosystems and what life depends on. There are hundreds of species of live things inside here. And if you sit quietly, you can watch them. You can see them moving around and doing things. When New Alchemy started, one of our goals was to learn how to grow food without pesticides and without fossil fuels. We did experiments to see how intensively we could produce food on a small amount of space. This is what we eventually made to test out solar greenhouses with fish ponds inside. Blue Alchemy experimented in the art from the time they built it in the 70s until about 1990 when the research stopped. After that, we had the opportunity to build a house on the property, so we removed part of the north roof and built our house against the north side. When we attached our house to the ark, we wanted the ark in the house to be exactly the same floor level, so that when you open the kitchen door, open the sliders, you are inside the ark as a giant living room. It kind of blurs the difference between being in the building and being outdoors. If you have uh, food gardens and greenhouses that depend on sunlight, you become more aware of whether it's a sunny day or whether the next day is going to be a rainy day or whether it's going to freeze that night. You, you become a little more attentive to the outside environment because it affects your immediate interior environment. Everybody who came here came here because they believed that we had to work on a new future, a more sustainable way of living. But their backgrounds were completely different. But everybody was uh, wanting to learn and work towards sustainability. So that made them all very creative because they knew what to work for, but they didn't have to be limited to what they had learned in school. The world doesn't go in the right direction as far as I'm concerned. And most people, especially ones in cities, they have one or two days of food in the city. And that feels very, very scary. And I feel really, really at ease here knowing that I always have the basic foods here. Right now in our society, everything is linear. We make fertilizer to make food. We transport food long ways. We eat it, and what comes out is dumped in a sewer system. Then it all ends up in our water, our oceans, a one-way street. In nature, everything moves in cycles. Everything gets used and reused over and over again. We are trying to mimic that. Our basic philosophy is that in order to live sustainably, we have to cycle our nutrients. The food that we eat, we excrete, and we have eco-toilets, and the waste in the eco-toilets is used as fertilizer in our gardens. So we eat the food in the gardens, that becomes compost, ultimately, um, and that gets used again in the ark. It's all about capturing any resource that we have on this particular land be it solar energy, be it rain, be it nutrients, and capture it and hold on to it. And really, human beings are the only ones who waste all of it. 
none of the ecosystems, none of the animals anywhere in nature would do that. They would never just ruin their own place and not know that where they can get their food the next time. In the ark, we have a resident frog who has lived there for many years. He lives in the pond and spends most of his time there, but often he'll come out into the vegetable beds and search around for insects to eat. I built him a little ramp of wood to go up onto a ledge on the edge of the pond where he can then walk around and look for insects and bugs to eat. Well, we wanted a greenhouse that would produce uh, food all winter long. And that means it had to be warm enough for the plants all winter long. So we, we discovered that having uh, water inside the building allowed the water to store heat from the day when it was warm air uh, for the night and then release it at night to keep the air warm all night long. We can walk out of our kitchen and we can harvest lettuce and we can harvest kale and herbs and walk back into the kitchen and cook them immediately. So you're eating food that's only 10 minutes old. What's interesting about this building, it's 50 years old now. It's like the earliest and the most sophisticated solar greenhouse pride is a, a research and development building. It will stand here as long as anyone wants. Two, three, four. Twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. Every time anybody comes here for the first time, they come in and their eyes get wider and then, oh, they take a deep breath and it's like, like... They say, I want to live here. 